Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. This week we're doing a Q&A, which is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. So this idea came to me as I was ironing in the recent vlog and I was like rambling about random things and I was like, why don't we do a Q&A? An ironing Q&A. I haven't seen anyone do that on YouTube. Let's start a new trend. Woo! There's gonna be some smoke, guys. So, first question is, how are you? Are you happy? I am pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm amazing because that would be too ambitious, but I'm doing well. And that is great considering the year I had last year. Three years ago now, I entered a relationship with, which happened to be not supportive and not healthy for me. And um, that led to a lot of, you know, changes in my life and um, has eventually affected my health, especially my mental health. I decided to move back to Switzerland after living in Cape Town for a bit, build a life for myself that I could see like somewhere into the future. And so basically these last couple of years have left me like, I've lost feathers, let's put it that way. But you know what? I Sometimes you need to get stripped a little bit just to like get reborn in a new way and just like redirect to where you wanna go. So this is definitely like where I've been. I got a question about antidepressants and like if I'm if I would be open to sharing about my journey with you know my healing journey and and with medication and when am I going to come off antidepressants and whatnot my mom took me to the emergency last year in September because I was not able to sleep I was having panic attacks over panic attacks sometimes I was even unable to actually talk um, I couldn't remember things like it was I was in this like such a state of stress burnout PTSD and they prescribed me a antidepressant but it was such a low dose that it was more like a sleeping pill and those helped me in falling asleep at night and still like getting you know seven eight hours of sleep a night that medication didn't impact like my mood and how I was like my anxiety or anything like that. After finally seeing a psychiatrist in December, I had like tried everything and I was like, just give me something because at this point, like it was like, I just really needed that kind of help. It's crazy to think about now um, and it's really hard to explain and, and understand what it feels like if you've never experienced it. That was my first time. Since December, I've been on antidepressants that I take in the morning. I've continued the sleeping pill and the uh, antidepressants since December have tremendously helped. So since December, I'm kind of like feeling like myself again. It's helped so much with my anxiety and panic attacks. I have not have had much since. Um, it still happens here and there sometimes, but it's very, very mild and very livable. So I'm on the lowest do dosage possible on this. And right now I'm reducing the sleeping pill to half. It's been a week, so I'm experiencing a little bit of a withdrawal symptoms from it. Handleable so far, so I'm trying to push through it and uh, maybe hopefully just take one in the near future and slowly decrease and then, yeah, see how things evolve from now. A lot of people asked about my diet change and this is something that I've addressed before, but I'm gonna do it again quickly on here. So I was eating a fully vegan diet for eight years. It's been three years now that I've incorporated animal products again for multiple reasons. It initially started with me getting COVID and losing so much weight that I was like, I need to eat something that's just gonna make me put on some weight and just also feel like some strength because I was actually losing muscle mass as well. So I started eating eggs and some seafood and fish yeah, I would say I have a pretty like still very much like vegan influenced or like plant-based lifestyle. And then I do really enjoy fish and that's always been the case. I was always more of like a fish person than like a meat person. So I do eat meat now for uh, iron reasons. When I had to get iron injections, 
it just like didn't make sense to me. I'm like, well, I'm eating food so that it fulfills my needs. And like clearly in that case, it didn't anymore. So I made some adjustments and also for the brain, like I think for brain health, it is important to, you know, eat fish or some like type of omega-3s and minerals and vitamins that you have in animal product that you won't have in plant foods that will be beneficial for you in some way so yeah for me like that's just been working and I feel good about it and yeah that's just been how things have evolved for me on that side some of you were asking me like uh, about like yeah I was mentioning that I wanted to like kind of gain a little bit of weight and uh, put on put on some muscle and gain some strength and I've definitely put a little bit of weight now since I've been on the medication and I don't think it's caused by the medication because I don't think it is a medication that the moment that my body was no longer in this constant stress state, um, it relaxes. And so then it feels safe enough to kind of put a little bit of weight. And I, honestly, it's been really good for me because I just feel a little bit more grounded. Um, I do feel a little bit more slow sometimes, but um, I feel stronger, I feel yeah, more stable, more grounded physically. And so I think that can only help with, um, you know, mentally as well. Next question is, what's your workout routine? How about fitness? How do you work out? Da, 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 da. So I still do lots of running. I run like maybe four times a week or I walk now. I find like walking is just really good for my nervous system. I find that sometimes now that I've had like anxiety and stuff, sometimes running can like get my heart rate a little bit high and it's not ideal. So I go on like gentle jogs. I really enjoy running. I just really love being outside. I was doing more yoga in the past and now I do more like Pilates and strengthening exercises and it's been really good for the core and the upper body and just like strengthening my body and aligning it. And that's been beneficial for everything and also for my uh, running so yeah I've been really enjoying doing like Pilates workout I am gonna do a teacher training in the spring so that's in my like professional plans but I'll talk about this a little bit later oh yeah some of you were saying like that I was looking like happier and I seemed better and um, that also you loved um, me wearing more colorful clothes and just like have my own style and that I don't and so I just felt deeply touched by that that really meant a lot so thank you um yeah I have definitely started wearing colors like wearing a red jumper like I am today is something I would have never done a couple a few years ago I've been really enjoying pops of colors and patterns and you know more lively things so you were asking like what kind of pieces have I added in my wardrobe I would say because it was winter I've added mostly like knit knitwear like this or a cardigan and now I've incorporated like I've got a jacket recently that's like a bright pink yeah I really like it it just brings like a little kick you know some days I want to have a little kick in my outfit okay have you ever considered adopting a cat or a dog and yes definitely really have always dreamed of having a dog I also love goats but I don't know how realistic it will be that will one time have goats but a dog I think is very realistic I mean goats are realistic too it's just like you know, you definitely can't have them while living in an apartment. <laughs> I'm definitely considering a dog that's been on my mind more and more since I've settled back here. And so it will be definitely like a plan in the next year or so, probably next few years at the latest, I would say. And now let's get into the juicy, juicy stuff. Um, some of you were asking, are you still single? Uh, what's going on in your love life? Do you have a boyfriend? Is the guy that you're showing as your friend in the video, previous vlog, your boyfriend? So no, he's not my boyfriend. We're actually really good friends. And I have met someone. So I have not. Sh so we were, huh, my, I had a delivery, then my mom came over for lunch, so we got cut off. 
somewhere like mid-January, I was feeling like stabilized enough to be going on dates. And so I went on a few dates and I've met someone and we've been seeing each other since. So it's been a few months, a couple months now, and I haven't shared about it yet because it's just so recent still. And I'm, you know, obviously we're still getting to know each other, but it's going well. And um, voila, what can I say? I mean, I'm sure you guys have question. we'll have questions about him and like everything, I don't know. Pretty much every single relationship that I've been in was a long distance relationship at some stage. And it's the first time that it isn't the case. Well, not the first first, but like, you know, since probably like 10 years or so. And so it's really lovely. I must say like, there is a different like energy to it. Um, it does feel a lot more grounding in a way like I don't know it's just it feels like this good balance of like something exciting and we're spending a lovely time together and having lots of fun but there's also something very you're rooted here I'm rooted here we both have our own separate lives here and yeah I guess it just feels healthy and balanced so I'm getting used to it but I'm really enjoying it and I think it is it is really good. There was a question about like, what's your future plan and vision? Do you want kids? Like, do you plan on staying in Switzerland or uh, moving abroad again? I definitely want kids. I'd love to have a family one day. I'd love my kids to grow up in Switzerland. I think it's a great place to raise children. It's really safe. There's really good education system. And I think beyond everything, is um, that my family's here, you know, and I do want my kids to grow up near their grandparents. And I think like also to go back to like the whole relationship thing, I don't want to get in my mid thirties and be like, oh my God, like I want babies and I don't even have a partner who I see myself having babies with or who wants babies as well. And so with the person I'm seeing now, you know, those were things that we talked very early on because, you know, it's something that we both want. I think that when it comes to partnerships, of course, like you need to love each other and, and really like who the person is. But I think you also need to have um, common goals and vision, like compatible goals and vision uh, in life. I don't know, if I have kids, I wanna be with someone who's excited to have kids too and um, who's gonna be very invested and in that process and you know building a family where we're like together in this summer plans some were asking me about what are my summer plans and i'm definitely planning on staying a lot here i love summer in switzerland so i'll probably be spending most of july and august here however one travel plan that i've got is that i'm going to copenhagen in the month of June for the Slow Glow Retreat with the Simplified Model. Maybe some of you remember, that's a place I went last year and it was such a beautiful experience and I'm so excited to be going there again this year. Um, there were some of you guys who joined last year and um, yeah, it was really lovely to meet you and spend that week together face to face and you know, like cooking and doing meditation and yoga and journaling and um, spending time in nature, going on walks, having beautiful conversation. Yeah, I really look forward to it and uh, I look forward to meeting more of you this year. Okay, we're gonna get into work-related questions, but first I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today, Squarespace. Squarespace is the place to go if you wanna create an online store, a blog, a membership area. Whatever your business idea is and your vision for it is, you can create a platform with Squarespace online for people to find you and to either buy your products or um, follow what you're doing. When you're just getting started, Squarespace offers a 
large variety of templates that you can use to create your website. And these templates are all very professional looking. They are absolutely stunning and you can customize them to really make your own website unique. With purchasing a website with Squarespace, you'll also get access to their 24 hours, seven days a week customer service. If you're completely new to creating your website or if you have a new business idea and you just want to get it going, see what it looks like and just to get started because eventually like oftentimes we put off things but when we just like start and do it and it starts coming together and we can see it, that's when also more motivation and more, you know, momentum is being built. So if you want to kind of trigger that and start something for yourself, you can get a free trial at squarespace.com. And then whenever you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Chloe Kian. This link will get you a 10% off your first order of a website or a domain name. All the information is down below to Squarespace and then also um, regarding the retreat that I just mentioned earlier. Work-related questions. Why is my website offline? I am currently in the midst of restructuring um, my work, my career, and of modifying what I'm offering through my website. And I'm doing that with Squarespace. It's just like right now I'm doing it uh, behind the scenes. But yeah, I would say like career-wise, um, some of you were asking like, what are my goals? Like, where do I, where am I at? Coming out of school, what I wanted to achieve, I've achieved. And like, I am where I wanted to be five, 10 years ago. And now I've reached a ceiling in a way of, I'm very happy with where I'm at and the way I want to continue growing and evolving is slightly branching into different directions. And so that's what I'm, I'm in the works of like defining and structuring. I've got a few visions. I've got, I'm someone with a lot of ideas. I'm at the stage where I'm like planting seeds. And one of them is that this year I'm going to be doing a Pilates course um, in the month of May. So I'm doing a Pilates teacher training and maybe in the hope that I'll be teaching Pilates. I also am very passionate about Kundalini yoga or yoga in general, so I might be doing something in that space. I'm kind of like going back to school in a way now just to like stimulate myself and then see what it opens to. And I guess like that's one thing that a lot of people ask me about is like my cooking and my fitness and how I, I stay so healthy and um, that has a lot to do with like the practices I do daily, like how I cook, my workouts, spending time in nature, going for runs, doing Pilates, doing yoga, meditation. And so I want to share that more. One other training that I'm going to be following this year is a face yoga training. Um, so it's all about like self uh, face massages. So yeah, I'm in the looks now for like a training that I can follow and uh, so I can get more in-depth knowledge about this. Okay, there was a few questions about the podcast. Will I be back on the podcast? The answer to this right now is not for now. However, it might definitely be something that I pick up in the future, but it in a slightly different way than I used to. Are you planning on uh, doing videos on your French channel again? I haven't made a video on my French channel in a few years and I know some of you speak French and would love my videos, more videos in my French channel. I think I'll do like, I'll run a little like survey on Instagram to see a bit like where you guys like are at so that I can best, you know, target and, and make something that like at least the most of you can understand. Yeah, and those of you who live in Switzerland, let me know. If you want to do like a something live here, that would be really lovely to organize like even like a one day retreat, you know, like not a necessarily a whole week, but like also have like a, a day, a day workshop or retreat. So and yeah, there was this question about like finding direction and purpose. And I think that like, you know, you can find purpose in anything that you do. You know, it's not really about thinking like your purpose is like, it has to be this one thing. I think like I used to waste so much time thinking like I only have one purpose, but the truth is we don't. I think in, in reality, like there are multiple things we are brought here to and there are multiple things we can, you know, contribute 
to society and um, it's about in the end like also like knowing what those qualities we have that we can share but then also um, exploring different possibilities and being open to them changing and then seeing like how it impacts others and um, sometimes I felt you know I would doubt my purpose with making YouTube videos and being like is this really impacting people's lives like is it really yeah having a good impact like are people actually benefiting from the videos that I share the information that I share the content that I share and it turns out that yes maybe not everybody obviously just like for anything else when I read the comments when I receive messages from you guys when I bump into you in the street and you guys share with me like how much it's helped you in some sort of way I'm just like okay this is why I'm doing what I'm doing so I would say like if you're feeling lost or not sure about what it is your purpose I think like find what you're passionate about and then like see how like what you want to how you want to help the world like I think one question that I find really helps me when I'm unsure it's like okay like what am I doing for myself and what am I actually doing for the world what do I feel the world or the community I live in needs and, and in what way do I want to contribute those can be good questions like just journal 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 and also one thing like if you're unsure of like where you want to go one thing that really helped me to find that is look at who you are inspired by it, when you look up at people when you look up to people what do they do what have they created what is it about them or about their businesses that you admire and that you want to bring into what you do and i think it is a constant process like i'm i'm in that process right now as well so i'm um fully empathizing with anyone who's in that process of like defining things and creating something new and like coming out at the end of a chapter and starting of a new and as exciting as it is that in between can be very um, daunting and like yeah scary because you're leaving the known for the unknown and you're breaking through resistance of resisting change and so it's not easy it's really not easy. Am I gonna host a meetup in Switzerland? I have definitely ideas for meetups and events that I would love to host or like workshops or classes and also potentially a retreat with you guys here um, at, this point, at some point this year or next year. However, before I get started into it, I'd like to know like, how many of you guys are from Switzerland actually? How many of you would be you know traveling here to come to something like this and for those of you who are in switzerland which area of switzerland do you stay in and so i can best like assess like if i was to do a, like a one day event where i would locate it i'm really dreaming of um you know taking you guys for a week in the mountains and doing hiking and cooking together and going for um, river swims and doing some pilates and face yoga and i don't know just like dance and paint and journal about our dreams and i've got quite some ideas and also maybe introduce you to some of like the traditional swiss food like so yeah that's that's in the plan that's something i've been talking about with a friend and where we'd love to organize something for you guys but we'd also love to know like would you guys be interested would you guys come we've finished all or most of the questions i'm super grateful for all the amazing questions that you guys have shared yeah thank you so much for asking them over i really enjoyed doing this little catch up with you guys i feel like it had been a really long time that i had really just talking to you and had you updated a little bit about like what's going on in my life so yeah yeah that's it thank you so much for being here i'm wishing you all of you or all of you who are celebrating a very happy Easter holiday and for those who are not just a happy weekend and I'll see you guys next week and I'm very excited ciao ciao